Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for August 13th, 14th, and 15th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, you know that when I'm using the week, when I'm doing using the weekend, when I'm doing the weekend readings, I generally use a couple of decks. But I'm pulling out a little bit more because I got a little more information to tell you that I'm thinking, oh, this could continue. We, the wild ride we've been having, could continue with these energies still in force. Remember, Leo seasons bracketed by the full moon. We've had the Lion's Gate on 8-8. It is supposed to close at 12, I mean on August 12th. Now, we have August 13th, 14th, and 15th. Okay, more stuff. Let me go back to what I want to tell you. Anyway, I am going to use my Radley Valentine decks, Angel Tarot cards for the main reading. Pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I will pull one from my Guardian Angel Tarot cards. I will also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, in the beginning, in the introduction, we're going to pull a couple of cards, three cards, in my Rider, my Weight Rider, Rider um, Tarot deck also. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Okay. Now, when a card comes and it is upside down or reversed, pay attention to that. Cards that fly out of the deck, pay attention to that. There's a, you know, also pay attention to the numbers. Get a piece of paper and a pen. Write the numbers down. Many times over, it is angels trying to you know, provide an additional message for you. And how you can tell or what you can do is take the numbers and you put them in your browser you know, one, two, three, angel numbers, hit search, and you'll see what happens, what can come up with that. When I speak about higher power, basically that is your, you know, higher power, your guardian angel, spirit guide, your voice of the universe, your divine, the source, whoever that is to you. Okay, now I told you that this is going to, there's going to be some weird energies. Now I want to just make sure I can get to the website. Now, there is a website, well we have Friday the 13th in August which in itself is very, very bizarre. 13 is the number of endings and beginnings, if you know what I'm talking about with that one. So there is endings and beginnings. Now, I thought I saw this when I do my little research and nothing worse than somebody that likes to do research, but I, I found this again, and it was on moonomens.com under the Lionsgate portal. And they talk about a lot of the things that I've talked to you about also. But they're also talking, they, you know, they talk about Sirius, which is a bright star. And um, basically it was known to create flooding. We've seen a lot of flooding going on around, you know, around the world. But at the same time, you know, and they talk about 8-8. However, this article, and I'm going to just read it, from the astronomical standpoint, the Helical, H-E-L-I-A-C-A-L, rising of Sirius will take place between August 14th and 15th, 2021. However, even if the astronomical event happens on a different day each week, each year, we celebrate the Lionsgate peak on 8-8 due to the power of this number in numerology. So I'm not quite, I mean, to me, that means something. You know, that just means something. If this is when this is going to happen, now, what happens when this star is really, really high up? Many times the sun seems brighter, and many times it also, you can look, some people can see the two suns. It's like there's two suns. So, it, you know, to me, the 14th, the 13th, 14th, and 15th, who even knows what's going to be happening there? So then, if this is when this gate is, now just hypothesize with me a little bit, if this is when this gate is open, does that mean that it's going to be closing? So on the 8th, it closes on the 12th. Does that mean that after the 14th, that this is going to be closing on the 18th? I don't even know because then we have an 18 again. Or on the 17th, I don't know. Um, this was kind of new information, and I thought I would share that with you. And Because, you know, why not, right? Right. So we, I would say that the energies will continue, will continue, will continue, and we just have to ride these out. Okay, let's go on. And I did tell you that I would do a couple of the, the um, 
Rider Tarot card. So let's go on and see what we have. Just a general overview for the weekend. Okay, what's going on in the earth? What's going on in the universe? What's happening in the in the overview? All right, here we are. Oh, my cameras are all messed up, I think. No, they're not. There we go, there we go, and there we go. All right, let's see what we have here. First card, Ace of Swords, new ideas. Okay, Swords, of course, is our Libra. It's And, and also, too, I think Venus, but this is next week, goes into Libra, but this is, again, next week. But it's Libra, it's Aquarius, it's also our Gemini. It is a one, so this is a new beginning, new start. Sword, you know, this is about new ideas, new challenges. So we could be, and also, too, Swords is about hearing news. So we could be hearing news, news that creates a new paradigm. It could create a new challenge. We could be getting new ideas that we just need to kind of just reframe. Again, I'm kind of getting the word paradigm. You know, basically, it's our belief system. It's how we live. You can also look it up, P-A-R-A-D-I-G-M. And it's kind, it's kind of this new paradigm for us to possibly investigate further. Okay, here we go. Next card. The moon. All right. So the moon, we have then 18. So, you know, who's to say? The 18th, is there something going to be happening at that time? The moon has a lot of hidden energies. The moon is the one, you know, it's, it's something, you know, it has a lot to do between the sun and the earth. But the moon has a lot of hidden energy. So there could be things that come out, especially since this is next to the, you know, the Ace of Swords. There may be things that are revealed. There may be things that, you know, we um, did not know about. However, there is also, this is also saying that we need to make sure that we are connecting to that spiritual side, that higher power, that hidden energy. But also, if this is another, if this is part of that Lion's Gate, then this is again hidden energies that's being revealed. Next card here. And here we have the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles is, you know, very much male energy. Um, Pentacles is our earth energy. It's our Virgo. Now, right now we have Mercury in Virgo, so that's our communication. It is our Capricorn. It is also our Taurus energy. A lot of times this is somebody that has some, this is a professional. This is has somebody that is in power that deals with money. It is somebody that we can respect. The king's underlying energy is air, so there is that wisdom, there is that planning, but it's also this is also about money and it's about professional. This could be somebody in um in you know maybe that in the world we're dealing with in a legal capacity. But it's very, this person is, is very, very good. Again, I, I'm, the money issue is coming really, or the money message is coming really, really strong. But this would be somebody that I would trust with money, okay? This is somebody that, and I'm not, I'm not, I do not do financial advice. Do not take this as that. But this is somebody who, um, it, it's like, you know, just, a, it's, a, it's a very strong professional deals with money, lots and lots of money. So we will see how this all plays out for the weekend. Um, again, I'm not getting, you know, getting anything more with that King of uh, Pentacles, except all it's all about the money, all about the money. So let's see what's going on for the weekend. And let's begin our readings now. Hello, my Scorpios. How are you? Well, let's see what we have for you for this weekend. This weekend's energies are going to be wild. So let's see. Shout out to Kathy, by the way. It was a pleasure meeting you. Also, um, remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. And I hope you did watch the introduction because here we go. Let's see. One two and three, three cards face down. The first two are reversed. All right, let's see what we have going for my Scorpios. First card is the Ace of Fire. New start, new beginning, very passionate 
kind of energy with this too. Fire energy is our Leo Sagittarius and Aries, passionate burning, very determined, but there is a passion here. There is something that you're committed. This is not, this isn't just, this isn't so much your water energy. I know that can be, you know, very committed too. This is going after something. This is going after something with a, I don't know, is this with a vengeance? I don't think so. It's just things opening up, seeing an opportunity, and you taking the opportunity. You running in, or possibly, because I'm kind of getting that thing of like you're putting on your helmet, like a, you know, like a fire person, fire, somebody worked that, you know, you know, I know, fire, male, men, women, whatever. But, you know, like putting on your helmet, getting on your gear, and just getting ready. Just going for something very big. Very positive also. Aces are new beginnings. They're one. So remember to put down the numbers there. An exciting new opportunity. Career advancement. Change your life now. Next card. The High Priestess. So now we have a two. So we have a one and a two. Crossroads. Choices. Joining together. The High Priestess, though, has a lot of intuition. The High Priestess is the one that connects with higher power. Now, I know we have the Moon, we have the, we have the Empress, we have a lot of different cards, but the High Priestess is one who dedicates herself to achieving that higher knowledge or that higher wisdom or to receiving that higher wisdom. I'm also kind of getting that third eye energy here, and the third eye energy is what comes in. You know, a lot of other energies are kind of a little, you know, like the crown goes up and down. Um, you know, the others are kind of, um, you know, they kind of, they're going out a little bit. But the the third eye, which I know it's it's all about your intuition, that's coming in. So there could be an awakening for you. There could be this uh, time, you know, we're in this, strange time where there's a lot of ascension energy. I would also, I'm going to, you know, I don't know per se, but if you follow the Schumann resonance at all, I would look to see what's going on around there. I do think, my Scorpios, you do need to keep your energies, your vibrations, your thought processes positive and high. It's not always easy to do, but I think you're going to be kind of called on to help with whatever this transition is that we're all going through. Anyway, Wherever, whatever that all meant. Archangel Heniel, listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. So now we have a one and a two. The Knight of Earth. So, Knight's energy is fire energy. We talked about that. Earth energy is your um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Very solid energy. Your home, your, your work, your job. But it's also the effort that you put into it. So it's not necessarily, I mean, you have that passion. You are going after something because nights are very directional. But this is kind of like you going after your new job. You going after your new way of making money. You going after something in more of the physical realm. Okay. It does have that, you know, it does have a little bit of the metaphysical because it's got the fire energy. But the earth brings it down to earth. And the, earth, the night of earth basically says, get to work. Get to work, get it done. All right. Loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. But remember, some of this, some of this, you need to have some of this guidance also. You need to make sure that, you know, you need to be, you know, where it says, like, you know, kind of go forward when you need to go forward, back up when you need to back up, have a little patience as you're doing, as all of this is happening. Now, and so the Ace of Fire may want you to actually, like, jump into that fire. The High Priestess is kind of saying, wait for the perfect timing, kind of step back, go forward, step back, go forward. But the Knight of Earth is still kind of saying, put your sights out there. Put your sights out there. Look at what you want. Also, too, remember, all that air energy going on around us, you know, that star energy, make wishes. Put it out there. Say it, say it out loud. Okay, let's go on. So let's see what that's all about now. I want to hear from you, my, my Scorpios. Okay. This the Ace of Michael. So that is one air energy. Okay. 
air energy, which is our Libra, it's our Aquarius, it is also our Gemini energy. Now the interesting thing is I think that Mercury, is it Mercury? I think Mercury goes into Libra, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Mercury goes into Libra, which is air energy. I think that goes in, um, not the 15th, I think it's more, it's, it's a little bit between the 15th and the 20th, I don't have the date in front of me. But so this may be something that you want to get ready for because, you know, um, aces, air energy, making plans, putting things out there, speaking things out, hearing news. So this is communication. So this may be something, maybe you need to prepare for something, maybe you need to prepare for a speech. So this is, and you know, but again, it might be really good time to do this. Well, is it no? It's, is it Mercury that's going in or Venus? Okay, Venus is going in. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting. No, I'm getting myself all confused. Something's transitioning and in, transitioning into Libra, and you know. And so I think it might be good to have that. Now, if you want to know what that is about, I do post um, my notes in my in my blog. So you might have to go back for that. Okay, I'm sorry. But Aces, new start, new beginnings, new ideas, new ways around something, new ways to approach something also. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. So there is good communication here. And it's also kind of like, hey, what's going on here? What's going on here? Clearing up communication problems with others. So, but again, you know, lean on that high priestess. My my Scorpio says the water sign, you are very intuitive. You are. So, you know, just kind of, you know, it's kind of that, that really, really special mix. It's, it's like, well, this is, you know, like when we talk about, is it intuition or is it something that I'm just kind of like just wanting, you know? Is it really, is it wishing for something or is it intuition? So let's see. Let's see what we have then with the garden, the garden, the guardian angels with that. But new beginnings, new starts with this, you know, passionate, you really, really want it. You're thinking how to do this. You're communicating this. You need to make sure you're reaching up. But the night of earth is kind of like, get going, do it, do it. Okay. Don't blame me. Don't blame me, my Scorpios. Hey, you got to, you know, always connect with your higher power about these things. Next card. Here we are. Choose freedom. Now, I will tell you that this has been coming up quite a bit, not just for, I don't mean in this reading, but in other readings that I've been doing. Um, choose freedom has been coming up a lot. So we have a 15. So we have one, two, and we have a one, five. Fives have that change energy. It's one, new beginnings. If we look at it as 10 plus five, tens is transitional. Or we can look at it as three fives, five, five, five. But choose freedom. Sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but often that's just an illusion. You could free yourself from the obstacles that you're fo so focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from the negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you might act upon. Sometimes we have to kind of redirect our brain a little bit. We have to re redirect our path. Um, it doesn't mean that we have to take our sights off of this thing or off of what we've been wanting. It just means we need to redirect a little bit. And then many times over, we find that, you know, oh, that that can come back to us. Okay, let's see what we have here. Let's see. Yeah, but the, so we have one, two, one, five, or one, one, five, one, one, five. So let's see what crystal or energy for my Scorpios. Okay. I know, this is kind of a conundrum type of energy here. It's something that you're going to have to try to figure out. I want, I would love, please let me know my Scorpios. Here we are. Citrine. I love citrine. It's all about, it's very clearing energy too. It's not just what this says here. It can clear. It's very similar to um, selenite, except that it, it's got wonderful, wonderful clearing energies, especially for your other crystals and stones. Wealth, enhanced, yeah, enhanced career prospects, self-esteem, manifestation. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, my Scorpios, yeah, let me know what this is about. Remember the button, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications because you all support me and when you do things like that, so thank you. As always, my Scorpios, know that you are loved. 
Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.